Welcome to day 13 of Advent, where we're looking at Luke chapter 13. And there are quite a few different parables and stories in this chapter, but I've chosen the parable of the mustard seed, which is told in two verses, verses 18 and 19. And it says, then Jesus asked, what is the kingdom of God like? What shall I compare it to? It is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his garden. It grew and became a tree and the birds perched in its branches. You see, the kingdom of God started from tiny beginnings, a baby being born in a manger, growing up to be a boy, then a man, a teacher, the Messiah, Jesus, who had disciples who followed him. And Jesus showed us the way to the father and taught us that we're called to build his kingdom and that the kingdom of God is in us. Jesus told us that the kingdom of God would grow and spread across the world to an unlimited number of followers. But what does this mean to us today? As Christians and as church, we are bearers of the kingdom of God. We are carriers of his kingdom. Whether we like it or not, the kingdom of God is in us. And we're called to build his kingdom wherever we are, in our schools, in our homes, in our workplaces, in whatever spheres of life and society that we're called to we are carriers of God's kingdom and we bring the presence and goodness and love and victory of Jesus wherever we go we bring all the goodness of heaven to earth and even if we think that what we bring is really small like a tiny little mustard seed it will grow and spread and become a tree where birds will perch on its branches, or in plain English, a place where people will be sheltered and nourished and refreshed. So let's think about these two questions. Number one, in what areas of my life can I already see the impact of God's kingdom? Number two, in what areas of my life Can I pray for more of God's kingdom to come? Let's pray together. Lord, you told us to pray your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, thank you for the mustard seed that you put in our hearts. And we ask that you will grow this into something big for you as we go out and take your presence into this world that you've called us to. In Jesus' name, amen.